of uh, Rome, founding the city of Constantinople. And now we get set for the bronze medal match here in uh, Istanbul. And it is Jun de Somi leading the way, followed by Berenger Shu of France. So Berenger Shu, who upset the second seed Han Jianji of Korea this morning in the quarterfinals before falling in the semifinals this afternoon to Deepika Kumari, taking on the challenger, Jung De Somi, who was ranked number one in the world and was the number one seed coming in, but Cheng Ming had other things in mind, and Cheng Ming won that match six and two just a short while ago. So it will be the Korean going up against the 27-year-old Berenger Shu from France. So they have to put that match out of their minds, look forward, forget about what happened just a little while ago, and try to salvage a bronze medal and go home with yep. some hardware. Yeah. And money, again. And money. Let's say money, because the third gets money, the fourth gets nothing. Just uh, the glory of having a semi-final lost here in Turkey. <laughs> Not a big glory. No. It is a long way to travel, and you need something to show for it. In Italy, we say the fourth is also a medal, is the wood medal, brings nothing. <laughs> Gold, silver, bronze, but then if you get the wood medal, aye, aye, aye. So, so both of these shooters trying to avoid that situation as they step up to the starting line. Yep. In the women's bronze medal match. That's what me decided to shoot first. She's seated first, so she's able to decide if she wants to start or not, and that's what she decided. Shoot the first arrow, see where it's going, and it's a 10 liner. 9 or 10, I guess it's a 10, but the uh, judges will tell us. Well no. she's, she started off her last match with a 7, so that's an improvement. Yeah, and uh, the spotters on the target say it's a, it's a 9, it's not a 10, so Berenger she seems to be in front by 1. Berenger with a perfect 10 right there. She started off 8-8-8 in her semifinal match. So they seem to have figured things out, and it just as I say that. She shoots an 8, doesn't mean. She shoots an 8. 12 o'clock, high, out of the 9, way out of the 9. In and oh boy. Barely crashed the other arrow in the 10 on the number 10 on our target, showing to all of our uh spectators that uh don't know archery that well 10 9 8 7 we have the numbers on the target doesn't mean comes back with the 10. anything better than a seven will give the first two points to berenger shoe eight it's enough scores the eight after a pair of bullseyes and so she wins the first set and takes a two to nothing lead in the match so berenger shoe trying to bounce back after the disappointment a little while ago in her semi-final matchup with Deepika Kumari, who we'll see in just a moment in the finals against Cheng Ming. Meanwhile, the Somi pondering the situation here in Istanbul. 21 years old, currently ranked number one in the world. And as we said before, one of the newcomers on the Korean team. And as you mentioned a little while ago, a great developmental system in Korea to bring these young archers along. They start shooting at school, they go Talent scouts are going into the schools uh, at age 10, 11, 9, 10, 11, and they look for the best uh, actually built archers. They have to have a, a, a right biometrical uh, um, uh, out layout, let's mm -hmm. say. They have to have a sh right length shoulder, arms. They, they really measure them almost, and they get out the best archers, uh, the best, at least the best talents. And then they their goal, it's a nine, by the way, uh, their goal is to get archers for their company or factory teams uh, like Samsung, Hyundai, they all have factory teams with the best archers. Ooh, ooh, oh. You could tell right away. Oh. Don't. Of course, Andreas with a lot of experience himself in international archery. Yeah. And you can tell. Oh. So a tough shot of seven for Berenger Shu to start the second set. Nice shot. There's a ten liner probably. It's a nine, yeah, ten liner. On the line. Nine liner to ten. Difficult to say from 70 meters. We need the judges going down there and see. It's a nine. Comes back. But after the first two shots, trails by two in the second set. Shu with the two to nothing lead in the match. 
as they vie for the bronze medal. 10. So it's a 2 2 situation. We go against those, this third set again, the important third set with the tie situation, 2 2. Berger will try to shoot a good arrow. It's a good nine, it's a good group, it's a bit low. She just moved aside a little bit, you see, you saw it. Mm -hmm. Just a little click. It's more than a psychological click. She needs to get these arrows up into the tent. So what is Mark Dellenbach telling Berenger Shu right now, you suppose? I try to listen. Ah, oh, you're <laughs> listening in, <laughs> eh? We have mics on, we the, on do. our... I'll tell you what, Hit the Roof Productions does a tremendous job with microphones placed strategically along with the cameras. Yeah, he says to force these arrow, these uh, left arm, to force it through the goal, to stay there. She has to uh, to fight for it. He says, the good thing, I understand French, but I have a problem with the Korean guy. <laughs> I can only see from his mimic, uh, from from his face, if you he can is tell angry facial or not. expressions. Yes. Yeah. Uh, at least I speak French. I speak German. I speak Italian. So at least, and English. But uh, Korean is not on my list. You read body language. Yeah. We're tied at two in the match. And the body language of this shot seems to be a very oh. nice one. Very it's good. It's an X. And that X, that spider is about, mm, what, about a quarter inch, I yes, would say. Yes, 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 yes. It is very small. Eight. eight. Not six the start that Berenger was looking for. Yeah, eight, six, five o'clock. It's still low. She had two low nines, mm -hmm. uh, low eight now, losing pressure. That's exactly, oh, it's an eight. But that's exactly what Mark Dellenbach told her, to keep the pressure on that arm, to keep uh, the line. That seems to be a better shot. It's a nine, still low. Move this side. They post ah. a nine, so she the trails by. The coach just said the, it, the wind is coming from the front. That's why they're going low. Move the side. That's what he said. One point lead for Dasomi, who fires her final shot of the set, and it's off the mark. We need a 10. Berenger needs a 10 to get the four point uh, to two lead. So, under pressure. And it is a 10. There it's you a go. liner. Needed Ooh. a 10, got the 10. And still low. Yes. If I would be a perfectionist, I would say <laughs> move this side. But, uh, well, we'll let you listen in just a moment, Andreas. But you know, he's really speaking here. He's analyzing what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, he said, you shoot that nine, it was low, you moved it, you moved the side, you have to be strong. He is really going into her. He knows her, they live, sorry, it's not right to say they live together, but they live in the INSEP, in the French sports school. Mm -hmm. um, that means Marc Delembach is there the On whole a daily day, basis. The whole daily basis. And he's working with a young group of archers towards London 2012. And he knows his archers. He's a real great coach here in Europe. And right now, Berenger Chou with a 4-2 lead in the match. And she won that set by 1 point, 27-26. And that's why Dazomi shoots first with a 9 at 12 o'clock, right out of the 10. It's been back and forth, a seesaw match. Shu winning the first set, Dasomi the second, Shu wow. the third, what and there's a, great a bullseye. Shot. What a great shot. Berenger with a bullseye. This could be the last set if Berenger continues to shoot like this, but Dasomi won't give up. She won't give up, but the t eight is absolutely not enough. It's a three points drop from the perfect 20 points at this moment. Uh, Berenger, you see shaking the stabilizer? Wind is coming up, and yeah, she keeps the nine, there. two points. Mm -hmm. Two points lead. And that stabilizer bar supposed to keep things from moving in the wind, but yeah. it gives you some indication of the wind that they're dealing with. Absolutely. Steady shot, but an eight. It seems that uh, with a 25, you cannot go into the final. Uh, sorry, into it the bronze. Seem. And it's enough, uh, it's a That's 28, it. it's a 6-2. We have Berenger Shu in the third place. So Berenger Shu is your bronze medalist in Istanbul as she comes up strong and winning the first set, dropping the second, but then winning the next two sets to win handily by the count of 6-2 and smiles on the faces of 
Mark Dellenbach as well as Berenger Shu. No wooden medals. No wood medals for her. No wooden medals for Berenger Shu, who's able to lift her she got low, her high in the air in victory. She got already one this year at the World Championships in Torino, Italy. So no fourth place this time. It's a third. It's an improvement. <laughs> uh, she also already has a bronze medal, as you said before, at the Olympic Games uh, with the team. She is European uh, indoor champion. She won a lot. Uh, she is a top archer, and she deserves this third place. Definitely. And I'm sure we'll see her in uh, in London next year. Yeah. As you mentioned, Andrea, she did earn the team bronze medal at the Summer Games in Beijing three years ago, and she earns the bronze medal here in Istanbul this afternoon. Well, they'll start to change.